Hi everyone. What I'm wanting to talk about in this video is how I'd make a sun shade for your power wheelchair. The challenge that I have in preparing this video is that wheelchairs are made to the shape of the person who uses it. I can't give you exact measurements for making your own. What I can do is teach you what's needed and then have you work with someone in your life that's handy. Either someone like a family member, extended family member, or someone in the community that you could sit down, watch this together with, and then make your own if this is needed. I've mocked up an example here. Now it doesn't perfectly fit my wheelchair, but if you'll stay with me, I'll explain what and how to make this make sense. So, start with a little bit of nomenclature. This part of the wheelchair is referred to as a cane. It's meant for pushing the wheelchair if the motors have broke down. So, how I would attach the wheelchair, or the shade provided to the wheelchair is with a pair of bolts going through the PVC conduit on both sides. But we have to think carefully about making it easy to take this on and add it back onto the wheelchair. So what I would be using are thumb screws. So thumb screws are what they say on the, the label. They go on and on, they're tightened and loosened by using your fingers. They don't use a screwdriver or an Allen key to make them. So what you would do is start by drilling the pair of holes in your pipe and then you would put a pencil or a you know or a a mark through onto the metal so the holes will line up and you would use a tap and die set to make the thread part into the metal on both sides so a tap and die set adds the threads it's what metal workers use when creating their own nuts, bolts, and repairing nuts and bolts. So it's a simple hole, and then you, and you twist the, the tap part that adds in the threads. So it does require a specialty tool. If you don't have a complete set, you can go onto eBay and search for a quarter inch tap set and what you're looking for is quarter inch dash 20. The dash 20 is the number of threads per inch that that particular bit makes. So quarter 20 bolts are very commonly available and I'm confident you could find quarter inch thread, or so, sorry, quarter inch thumb screws that are one and a half inches long. So the one and a half is to go through the, the width of the conduit. And then right here is on my wheelchair is the plate that holds the canes and the back support to the wheelchair. And we have to get past that thickness and get a little bit of the bolt sitting into the void of the canes. So I think inch and a half is the right size. Then what you're gonna need to do it. You'll need to listen carefully to what I've got to say and I'll put a paper diagram up after I point out to where the various parts go. What I've, what you're going to use are six elbows. So, so this is an elbow right here. It's the same as your elbow on the body. It's meant for a 90 degree corner in plumbing. And you'll need 20 feet, so two pieces of half inch conduit. And you'll need two T's. So the pair of T's are to come up here, go over and go back in on this side. It's to give the stability to the frame. Because if you don't have that cross member, you know, it's going to be flopping around all the time it really does need that cross member in here so what it'll look like is kind of a person standing leaning forward 
this is a diagram of what I'm referring to. For assembly, you'll also need PVC solvent. The gray one will work for this application. And then what I'd use for cloth would be Velcro, you know, starting from here up and over, and the same here and up and over. And you'd use Velcro with adhesive on the back. You'd want to put the prickly side onto the frame. And then what you do is measure and mark on fabric and then sew the fuzzy side of Velcro onto the cloth. Enough that there's a little bit of overhang, but you don't want to prevent yourself you know, from doing shoulder checks while you're riding your wheelchair. So we're taking plumbing, plumbing skills, sewing skills, and metalworking skills and meshing them together to make this. Now, all three in themselves are not tricky. It just takes a little bit of practice. So you might need to, to work through a few people in your life to make this. So what I'd start with is the actual frame and then what you would do is the, the holes, the bolt holes on the side and for all that matters, you could go to a metal working shop and I expect for maybe $20, they would drill the holes and tap them for you if you already had the, the quarter inch holes drilled in, this, in the PVC conduit. And then once you have that exact size, you can then take it to someone and buy the fabric and use the Velcro to put it on and do a hem on the edge of it. Why I say use Velcro is so this could be taken off for washing at some point or replaced if the cloth is damaged. The only thing you need to remember though as the wheelchair operator is that your shape, your body shapes change because you add this to your wheelchair. That's, that's the only little caveat. I hope this has made sense. Um, this was a question I was asked what I normally do is put a hat on when I'm outside, but if you're out and you know you want to have a more permanent solution or more broad coverage for whatever reason, this is the approach that I would take with this. I hope it's helpful in giving the theory of this. Let me know your feedback and see how this video went. Okay? Thanks for the time that you spent with me today. Bye for now.